And uh, I actually watch a lot of your videos all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Sean, I said, take a look at some of Fred's videos. And yesterday, while you were looking at his video, I would tell him to take a look at some of your videos because they're very inspiring mm -hmm. and thought provoking. Mm -hmm. Is this YouTube, Ben? Congratulations. No, it's, it's family. Okay. You wouldn't. All right. He shot my documentary. All right. And I appreciate y'all, man. Like, I don't read too much, you know, but I, I know, like, the guys that are out there pushing and fighting and, and trying to get people to see things, you know, the right way. I know that y'all been doing your thing, man, and I know people try to, you know, quiet y'all down and yeah. stuff like that. And I couldn't tell you, man, guys like yourself. But the stuff you're doing, um, it, it's something you can apply to your life. So. Barbershop conversation, guys. So this comes on the heels of Lil Wayne being admitted to the hospital. Uh, for seizures, he's epileptic, and and uh, you know, years ago, I, I I can't remember how long ago, but when I heard this story, it reminded me of uh, Lil Wayne. I don't know the details of the of the dream, but I had a dream a long time ago. Lil Wayne killed himself because he didn't want to be here. You know, like uh, the feeling I believe I had was that he was an aloof. And um, it was just a weird, eerie feeling. And I woke up like, and I, I believe it was around the time that he dropped his last great album with the Carter 3 or the Carter 4, not before the last album, I forget. But, uh, and um, I felt odd, you know what I mean? It, it felt real eerie to me, you know? And um, I just want the kid to get well soon, man. It's, it, it's, it seems like he hasn't had peace I don't. I don't know the man. I've never met Lil Wayne. Never interviewed him. I've only been to two of his concerts. Two of his concerts, I believe. And um, so I don't know too much about the man. All I know is what we know through um, through the internet and through media outlets. But uh, it, it 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 seems like he's never had peace recently. You know, between the Birdman issues, uh, him being epileptic, and just him in general. You know, he, he seems like he's not at peace. About maybe by seven, eight years ago, he was on top of the world. You know, he he was basically the Drake of 2009, 2010, right? I mean, he just couldn't do no wrong. And now, you know, it seems like I have no idea what's going on. But anyways, man, I just want to share that story. But I, I, I obviously, I hope that dream doesn't come true. And it's just weird how you have these dreams, man. And then you see this. It's like, whoa. You know, I, I uh, so I wish him a healthy recovery, man. I just want the man to get healthy because, you know, he's one of the few people. He, no, I should say not few people. He's one of the handful of artists. I use the handful of term loosely that uh, he has the ability to wear his heart on his sleeve. You know, he, he seems unguarded. You know, when uh, he's writing, sometimes he, he raps about bull. Some of his stuff is bullshit, though. But then he has some moments of clarity and you're like, you know, it's just amazing. You know, like that song he has with Robin Thicke, man. That's one of my favorite songs by Lil Wayne, man. It's just, I forget the name of it right now. But uh, for me, that was a special song for me at, at the time, you know. I, um, I believe it was when uh, around Hurricane Katrina, I believe, and that song dropped, and it was just a special song for me at, at that moment. But anyways, man, barbershop conversations. Let's send positive energy to Lil Wayne. We done lost too many uh, great musicians. He has the potential to be great. He's he's obviously going to get his star in the Hall of Fame because he's famous and he's done a good job, but I think there's more to Lil Wayne that... Uh, um, th that we have yet to see. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button and, uh, wish him a speedy and exceptionally healthy recovery, man. And, uh, talk to you soon. Peace. I just want to remind you guys in your corner, a movie I directed on Foy Mayweather and Sam Watson is out now on vmo.com in your corner. Click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys support. And uh, don't don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. Peace.